So I've fit myself a new uh, starter card on there, that's all nice and clean. I've just cleaned off this kill switch as well here. You can see here this switch was all dirty before. And I said when I pulled it like there's a bit of cable stretch but I've just noticed underneath things I've forgotten really. Um, I've forgotten because I've not, I've not serviced it. Is under here it's actually had this repair here. Can you see here? That should actually hook into that part and believe it or not just with that small adjustment that does actually operate. That micro switch, can you see that this moving part here, on here, all it needs to do is have either a connection or not have a connection. If it has a connection it'll stop the mower from running and if it's uh, released like that, that's enough uh, to take the switch off and that'll let you uh, fire this lawnmower up and it is actually working as it should. It just, if I see one on eBay, one of these cables, I'll, uh, I think I'll buy one of those. You don't need the, uh, the handle, you just need the actual cable. And I'll replace that, but if not, I'll probably just leave it as it is. And the other side, the drive cable's all okay. So I've got the pull cord off, I've got this uh, pull cord changed, I've got the blade off ready to sharpen. Uh, I've cleaned this kill switch, so I'm going to take this carburetor off here now. And the reason I'm really going to do this today is because um, it is, it has actually been revving up and down a little bit as I've been using it, and that's a, a classic sign of a, a bad diaphragm and gasket on one of these Briggs engines. So we'll whip this, uh, we'll whip this carburetor off here. Take these two parts off here, there's one there as I said, there's one usually here as well and the whole thing pulls off. I've shown in previous videos actually a full video of how to service these carburetors um, and change the diaphragm and gasket as well, that's on my channel so if you're not sure how to do that, that one small fix can make you a fortune in repairing these mows for profit. So for those new to this channel who are really uh, accustomed to these these carbs, but what happens with these is this little diaphragm in here tend to wrinkle up now admittedly this one doesn't look too bad but this little spring here when the engine runs it vibrates and this is what pumps the fuel through the car better and makes you more um, work properly. Once they get wrinkled up it, don't, it doesn't pump the fuel correctly and you get uh, the, the surge in the revving up and down and all the chugging out of black and white smoke and all the other things that you'll see on the, the internet people are looking for uh, remedies for and that's down to this gasket and um, as I said on the channel, I'll try and remember to put a link to it, there's actually a, a complete video of how to change this diaphragm and gasket and it's also on the uh, Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit DVD as well there's a full link detailed video on there that shows you absolutely everything all the things not to miss such as where these uh, seals go in the back of the carburetor and everything like that so um, this is the main cause of this, so you want to take these off here clean everything out and then we'll get ourselves a new diaphragm and gasket set which is basically pens you know to buy uh, if you buy a couple of dozen of them it probably cost you a tenner I would imagine oh, I've not bought any for ages so I'm going to uh, clean all this off and basically blow the carburetor out as I've shown you how to do in lots of other videos including get this tube off here and clean it all through we'll pop it all back together and it should uh, definitely uh, remedy our revving up and down problem that I've got with my own lawnmower I just thought I'd show you this actually uh, this is the uh, where the actual drive is on the back of these mowers if you put a screwdriver in here eventually you can lever this off and I just wanted to show you in here as well as I said I've got no belt guard on this at the minute but look at all this grass in here and this is all going around where the belt rides around so obviously if you don't clear this out at some point which I should have done a long time ago by the looks of it um, it will eventually drag this belt off you can see here uh, just a little tip, this deflector stays up, just get yourself a piece of wood and put it under here and it saves this keep flapping shut on you but I just use a snooker cue as you do um, anything just to keep it open, just dig everything out of here as well and then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to uh, try and get this belt off as well so we can get this blade adapter off and uh, we can get this blade adapter and this, uh, this belt off and we can swap over this part which is for the uh, for the blade here as I showed you where the pins are not sure where I've put it now but to do that I'm probably going to have to uh, probably going to have to take this belt off here as well so while I'm there I'm going to take this out and make sure this isn't going to pull the belt off it's a real pain I don't want to have to buy another belt and the drive's still working okay on this as well so looking at this mower from the back that's the inside there that's where the transmission is I've cleaned most of that out I've still got a few bits to get off but as you can see now you can actually see the belt see all this pulley system if we uh, to operate this while I'm here, you can see exactly what moves. Just for anybody who's taken as a part, I was wondering where the springs and things go like that. It's a bit slow, this one, the cable's a little bit sluggish, but it all works. 
So what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to try and get the blade adapter off and the belt off without actually having to take any of these uh, springs off or just the tension at the back of this. I'll take any of these springs off because it can be a pain. So I'm going to try and get this blade boss off underneath this blade adapter and um, try and swap that over. You can see the top of the shaft here. Um, I've actually just tapped this at the side of the hammer and I've actually managed to just drag this down. And as you can see here, what I really don't want to do is pull the belt off on the back. So I'm just going to put this camera down a minute. I'm just going to drop this, this old one out and swap it over. Just put that back on there like that. And this is what I was talking about, the keyway here. Someone who's got a belt, uh, a mower that couldn't get, get running, you need to pick this keyway off here. This part actually sits, it actually slides in here. And if there's any imperfections in it at all, it's, uh, it, it will misfire your lawnmower. It won't start even if you think everything's firing up. So this is the, uh, the keyway at the bottom of this crankshaft. You need to check these things. If you've tried everything else and you've got spark and you've got fuel and it still won't fire, there's one at the bottom of this shaft here and there's one at the top. And what these do here is the uh, the design to uh, if you hit something the design to break rather than actually bend this actual shaft that goes right through the engine. So I'm going to get this little blade adapter, try and slide it on and put this belt around it and push it back up. I've just taken another look at this blade adapter and it's actually not the right one. It'd fit on okay, but as you can see here, it hasn't actually got the uh, the groove in here where the belt runs. I need to order a different part for that. So I'll take a look on eBay and I'll buy one of them. Probably about five or six pound. Basically the same as that. But it has the, uh, just this thing on for the uh, the belt to, to ride around on, so I'll take a look, and unfortunately for me, I'm going to have to purchase one of those, but uh, it definitely needs doing, it's no good putting it back on with that on there, you can see it's completely broken off, so I'm going to leave that as it is for now. Um, and I think what I'll do is I'll wait till that part arrives, and when I've got that on as well, uh, I'll start this up, fire it up, and I'll change all the oil, get it warmed up, and I'll uh, take it out of my extractor. And we'll put this blade on when we've shattered it back up. But for now I'll leave it there. I'm going to take a look inside and see if we can find a... Uh, this is called a blade adapter or a blade boss. In fact we'll go in the garage now and I'll just see if I can find one. So I found a, a chap on eBay selling these. £8.50 form free postage. What you can see here is where the belt actually runs round at the top. And what I'm also going to try and get as well is a, a belt guard. Because I'm not sure why they want one on this. So I'll, I'll have to pay for this unfortunately. But if this keeps my lower right for another 10 years... And it stops the belts, you know, snapping and coming off and causing any problems with the drive. It's not really too much to pay to see. I've had that one about six or seven years already. Um, so I'm going to get myself a, a blade adapter for this and I'll have a look for a belt guard as well. So there we are. That was quick, wasn't it? As if by magic, these uh, two parts are here. I hate buying new parts. I don't think I've really ever done it before. But on this occasion, because it's for myself, I've, uh, I've bought these parts. And this cost me about £8 and so did this. Um... This is the uh, the blade adapter, this is what I was talking about. And to keep your eye on this, if you've got a lawnmower that doesn't have a drive on, do you have to push along? This will be the blade adapter you need for the uh, uh, different HP 470. If you've got the uh, the one with the drive on, you need this one where the belt goes around for mine, which is a Mountfield SP 470. And what we're looking to do here is the keyway on the crankshaft needs to slide down this. You can see how there's all different uh, little uh, gaps in here. You can see this one here actually slides down to the bottom so that's where I need to slide it on the keyway right up the shaft and I need to get the belt sort of half on what you do is put it half on and as you turn it it just uh, works its way back on and you can get this up to the top making sure the keyway is sat on the correct one it'll only go, it, this, will, uh, this part will only go on because it's been designed that way to slide up to the top if you get this on the right way so it's a little bit fiddly not too bad really um, so we're going to do that um, I'm going to take a look underneath here because this has still got the uh, the nuts on and the screws that are in the bottom of the machine without the belt guard. So I'm going to, firstly, I'm going to take it outside this mower. I'm going to tip it on its side again, and I'm going to wire brush off underneath where they are and spray them up with WD-40 before I do anything else. So I can get all these old parts off. We will then put on this uh, this uh, blade adapter and this uh, belt again. Make sure all that's back on, and then we'll push this over the top and we'll put this belt guard on, and that'll be the the, uh, the drive nicely cleaned out and all working again. So just quickly before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire brush off this blade here, take all this old grass off. I'm going to just run a new edge on this, on the, uh, you can see that's the, that's the back edge. On this lead edge here, I'm just going to run a new uh, edge on that with my little grinder up here. If you haven't got a grinder, just get a file and file it until it's sharp again and pop it back on. Uh, and somewhere I've got a blade balancer which is uh, normally on this shelf. What you do with that, let's see if I can find that actually. Um, if you haven't got one, it's quite handy to have. It's not essential, but just make sure the blade's balanced. Basically, it's like a 
a conical shape and you put it on it drops on and if it's weighted too much at one end you need to maybe take a little bit of weight out the other end just by knocking some off the back edge of the blade or whatever you need to do make sure it's weighted nicely then when it goes on the machine you get less chance of this machine kicking back and uh, trying to bite your arm off when you're starting it so I'm going to sharpen this blade off and clean it off and then we'll go outside and we'll put this blade adapter on I've got that blade nice and sharpened up now as well and um, that's ready to go so I'll take this blade adapter wherever I've put it and we'll go out and try and pop this on so just as I've started filming my neighbour's actually cutting his grass um, you see this keyway here that's, that sticks out there that's what needs to line up with this blade adapter here with that gap there so I need to get that on lined up and I'm going to try and uh, just turn this round and hook this belt on make sure the spark plug is completely out of the machine or the lead completely out of the way before you turn anything on the bottom probably won't have enough momentum to start the machine of course but you know safety first and I'm showing these videos I always advise with any repair you're doing or anything you're looking at to remove the spark plug completely